honestly, off the shoulder tops are so obnoxious. Like, why are they stylish? But they are, but they're obnoxious. So I'm sorry if I keep fidgeting with this. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to film an empties video for you today. My big bag where I keep my empties is really full. So I'm gonna go quickly. Hopefully this won't take too long. I probably should have like sorted all this out and organized it before I began. But because I didn't, it's gonna be a little bit all over the place. Let's go ahead and start with a few of the bulkier items in here. And they are some candles. Both of these are actually that Voluspa brand, or I've heard people call it Voluspa. I thought it was Voluspa. It's actually based out of um, Irvine, the headquarters, like the office. I drive past it sometimes. So this one was the Crane Flower Bird of Paradise scent. I thought that jar was lovely. And then this guy was the French Cade and Lavender. I love this. This is amazing. It just makes your house smell amazing. Lavender, perfect. Wood repurchase. This one, it's okay. Next I have a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, yes, yeah, so this was the OGX Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo. And then I picked up the Sea Mineral Moisture Conditioner. I actually had the matching conditioner to this, but then I go through like twice the amount of conditioner per shampoo, so I've already gone through it. I really like OGX. I like all their products. They're pretty affordable, yet they feel fun to purchase, if that makes sense. It smells great, works great, would repurchase. A few of the Bath & Body Works foaming hand soaps here. I have Kitchen Lemon and I have Winter. Love these, always repurchase these. Here was one from Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's has beauty, <laughs> or like a Bath & Body kind of section. This is the Moisturizing Cream Shave in the Honey Mango scent. I liked it, it smelled pretty good. Yeah, it smelled good. I actually did not repurchase this, I just went on to like a Target up and up. It didn't lather enough for me personally, it was more of like a creamy kind of lotion-y texture. It was okay though, and it was affordable. This I actually just finished today, it is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub, and this is in the Coconut Lime scent. It smells amazing, it's so good for summer. These are awesome, they're really affordable, so I highly recommend these. This is sticky and gross. Ugh. A few sheet masks. This one was by Sephora, the Mask Lotus. It was for moisturizing and soothing. I love a good sheet mask. And then the one that I really, really loved was this guy. It was the Egg Cream Mask by Too Cool for School. It was just so nourishing and it smelled really good. You could really feel the hydration after it was done. I really loved this and I would definitely repurchase this one. A few hair items. This was the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. I really love the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texture Sea Salt Spray, but this was not my favorite. It's cute packaging and it's cheap, but I have definitely found others, both low end and high end, that work better. So this was not my favorite. It just left a white cast and didn't seem to soak up much oil, so. This guy, however, did work a little bit better. It is more expensive, but this is the R & Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I love R & Co. It feels like a really luxurious brand to use, and the packaging is so cute and fun. It smells good. Uh, this was a travel size, and I loved it. Another dry shampoo that was pretty good was the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Out of these two, I preferred the R & Co. This was also good. It just left a little bit more of a white cast than the R & Co. did. Another hair product was this guy. This is the Chi Silk Infusion. I've had this forever. And this is just a nice, silky um, heat protectant. And it would give your hair a little bit of smoothing out if you have any, oh, like I have right here, like craziness going anywhere. This will smooth it out and it's good before you do any heat styling and it smells like cologne and it's amazing. I have a lot of skincare bits, so let's just dive in. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil Face Wash. It was a gel formula and it lathered up really well. I really loved this. It felt deep cleaning and effective without being stripping and it's really affordable, so I really love this. A couple of face masks that I went through were my L'Oreal mud mask whatever this one the full long name but this was the green one which was kind of like soothing yet extracting at the same time this was my favorite of the three i actually have a video where i reviewed all three of the l'oreal masks i'll link it below if you want to check that out this was my favorite one so i went through it first i would definitely repurchase this it's like i said a great balance of being a mud mask that draws things out without being like too stripping or too crazy harsh it soothes at the same time speaking of soothing one of my favorite masks is this guy. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. This smells like coconuts and sunshine and I would use this as a leave-on overnight moisturizer or like an overnight mask and you would wake up and your skin would just be like dewy. It was like a full-blown 
drink of water <laughs> for your skin and I really love this I would repurchase it it's just expensive now a mask that really didn't do anything for me and I know a lot of people talk about this I think it even won like one of those allure uh, beauty awards is this guy this is I just dropped it on the floor honestly you guys I just dropped it on the floor and I'm just gonna leave it there and talk about it but it's the Tata Harper resurfacing mask Tata Harper is like an all-natural brand and so I know that's part of why it gets a lot of buzz and then it's also effective and, and great um, so people say but I have limited experience with it and that particular mask it's kind of like a jelly consistency you put it on and it's supposed to resurface and kind of turn over the cells and give you like a fresh youthful look it didn't really do much for me it did kind of sting a little bit which to me indicates that it's doing something which is good in a sense but I wasn't like oh my gosh look at my skin afterwards I just that was a Birchbox sample but I know it's a really expensive mask and I personally would never buy that full-size one now skin is such a unique personalized thing that everyone's gonna be different so maybe it would be a great product for you but for me it literally didn't do anything Next I have a couple of toners. These are from Sunday Riley. These are the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. It's made with um, bentonite, marshmallow, and manuka. Now I wanted to try these because I have, well I have combination skin. It's not exactly oily. It's dehydrated yet oily in my t-zone yet it's really sensitive and easily prone to breakouts so I wanted to try this out Zoella um, Zoe here on YouTube actually like raves about this and I think she has similar skin to mine and so I got these little hundred point perks at Sephora I did quite like them they were perfect for travel they were a really unique formula for toner because it's like a gel and I'm used to a liquid toner I liked it but like a full bottle is like 55 or 60 dollars and so because it didn't like knock my socks off I don't think that I can justify purchasing it but if you ever see it in like a hundred point perk or something try it it's, it's cool another Sunday Riley hundred point perk was this guy this was the Sunday Riley Tidal water brightening bright brightening enzyme water cream I really loved this stuff this again felt like sorry I keep fidgeting um, this felt like a drink of water on the skin it's like a gel formula and I think it has hyaluronic acid yes and then the other thing that it has is alpha something that's going to brighten and there's also an agent in there to exfoliate so for me I need something that's gonna hydrate my dry skin but I also need something that's gonna brighten up any old like texture or acne scars or anything like that so I really recommend this and I think I'm gonna get it in full size can't go wrong with this guy this is a Kiehl's creme decor body lotion this is like their I think I assume their best-selling body lotion or is it their only body lotion I don't know but it's like highly known it's amazing I have like a big old bottle behind my toilet like with the pump and this was just a travel size it's not even in focus at all there you go I love it it basically is scentless and it really hydrates your skin it dries really fast it's just a beautiful lotion if lotion can be beautiful another beautiful lotion is this guy this was a Jo Malone little mini this was the body cream in the wood sage and sea salt scent which is one of my favorites it's like a really nice kind of woody I feel like men and women would like this Jo Malone is just such a luxurious brand that feels so nice just to put on anytime and this body cream was just such a little treat a little bit goes a long way really decadent really moisturizing love it this guy this um, I could have shown with the face wash this is by the body shop also from the tea tree oil line and this is just the actual tea tree oil which I know people use on um, blemishes so they use it as like a spot treatment which is what I did I liked it I did and it's only like 10 bucks so I definitely would recommend trying it out Trader Joe's actually also makes um, a tea tree oil that I'm assuming is just as good I liked it it's just that my holy grail like blemish whatever um, spot treatment is Clinique acne solutions the gel but this is a great alternative it's just a different ingredient so there's a bunch of different ingredients there's salicylic acid which is what is in the Clinique one this guy is tea tree oil um, I know benzoyl peroxide is another popular ingredient for that and then there's like the Mario Badescu drying lotion which has sulfur I think that there's like products like that I think um, Kate Somerville makes products like that too so you just have to find what works best for your skin I did like this but I'm I'm pretty married to my Clinique one now a skincare product that did not work for me 
were these guys. And these are a new product. These are from Bobbi Brown and they're the Remedies. I think she came out with like six of these and they're these really concentrated nice oils that are meant to remedy specific things for specific skin. So the first one, um, and these came, you could get like little trios of ones that they recommended for certain skin problems that you were having. Mine, of course, lovely would be breakouts. So I was like, okay, let's try this. Now I can't even remember which order you do them in. Okay, power greens. So this one is literally like drinking a green juice for your skin. It's just supposed to be beneficial for anybody, any skin type. Then I went on, there was like, this is the calming algae one, which is for any redness, irritation, anything like that. And then the last one was the pore and oil control. Now again, my skin's really weird because even though I get really sensitive and breakout prone, it's, I don't really have oily skin. I mean, I have combo skin, so yes, parts of it can be and like whatever, but in general, it's not like an oily, grease slick. The thing was, I've been pretty diligent lately. I pretty much do a primarily Kiehl's and Sunday Riley skincare routine. Maybe I will film a skincare routine video for y'all, but I'm pretty diligent with that. And I really started to see like a positive change in my skin. And then I was at the mall with my mom and she got me these because we were talking to the lady, blah, blah, blah. Bobby Brown spent all these years working on these. And so I wanted to try it. And so I kind of went, like, I feel like with skincare, you have to dive in. So I was very religiously using these to see what they were doing. And I kind of stopped temporarily using my Sunday Riley stuff. And not only did I not really notice anything positive or like, much of a change, if anything, my skin just started acting up again. I wouldn't say that these were what caused my skin to break out or act up, but I think it was just that it, it's been liking the Sunday Riley Kiehl's kind of combo stuff that I have going on, and this just shook things up, and so I was like, nope, I can't. So, I don't know, if any of my friends wanna give these a try, I still have, they're pretty much full, but they didn't work for me. I have a few perfumes, which anyone who knows me knows I'm a major perfume junkie. Uh-oh, that's probably Travis and he's probably gonna start texting me a million times. Yep, Ugh. and I'm too lazy. Well, it's not that I'm too lazy, it's that I can't move, otherwise the angle will get all screwed up again, and I'm just like in a bed full of products, so sorry for the dinging noise. Okay, this is a Lacoste Pour Femme perfume. I've had this forever, there's still some in here. Um, I should look up what the notes are, but my phone's over there, so I'll put them on the screen. But it's a really kind of like powdery, oh my god, it reminds me of when I was like 18 years old. That's when I think I first got it. Oh, I was younger. I was like 16 or 17 actually. But um, it's really powdery and feminine. It's Lacoste. It's classic, but I've kind of outgrown it. So, and it's almost gone. Next was just a little small size of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. I love this. I have a, oh, I love this. I have the dry shampoo of this and I have the roller ball. This is like, I'm not really much of a, I can't stop smelling it. I'm not usually much of a floral girl, but this is like the perfect floral for me because it's, it's floral and feminine. I think it has peony in it, I think, I don't know. And it also has like a sexiness to it that like draws it down and makes it just perfect. It's like feminine, sexy, not even really sweet, but I guess a little bit. I love this stuff though. And then the last one I have is Gucci Guilty. Bottle looks like this. Shout out to David for getting me this a long time ago. Hi David, love you. So Gucci Guilty, again, I'll put the notes on the screen, but this is very much like a nighttime, like sexy scent, hence the name Guilty. I really, really like this. I definitely would repurchase this. This I think was the Eau du Toilette, and so it didn't last on my skin for too long. If I got this again, I would maybe get the Parfum if they have it, or like the more intense one. And probably just in the rollerball size because Lord knows I have a lot of perfumes. Also going to be doing a perfume collection. One of these days. <laughs> I, I will do it soon. I just, there's like one more that I want to get before I film the collection. So this was just a little box of my little diptyque miniature candle. Can you even see that? In the scent roses. I love diptyque candles. They're so cute. And they smell amazing and they're really potent. Okay, next I have a bunch of makeup. Let's just crack through it and then we're done. First, Benefit Hula. This is like a cult classic. It's like my holy grail. Although, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer has kind of slowly been kicking this one's booty. I don't know about kicking its booty, but like 
I've been really, really, really loving the Physicians Formula one lately. Um, I have another one of these. This, I think, is not even all the way gone. I'm not even gonna show you because it's like crumbly little bits. But, you know, comes with a little brush, the huge, great color, great blendability, blah, 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 blah. Love this. This was a little brow kit from NYX. It's the eyebrow cake powder something or other in the shade brunette. There's still some product in here, but honestly, look how disgusting that looks. So it was a duo of two different brow powder shades and then a wax. I never really used the wax, but the powder was really nice. Um, but it was just time for this to go, and I have a bunch of other brow products. Next was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Of course, I was in the lightest shade, 201 Classic Ivory. This is not even empty, but I just had to pass it along. <sighs> I don't know why. I think, again, my skin's really, really finicky and sensitive, and so I'm pretty strict. Like, if something doesn't play well or doesn't seem like it's playing well, I'm like, okay, no, bye, gotta go. So it's a really dewy finish. It's like a medium to full coverage. A lot of people like it, but I just think it kind of broke me out or like had the potential to do that. And I didn't necessarily love the super dewy look. Um, but if you're really dry, definitely try this. I like the matte one a lot and I want to try the total cover one, but this one, no. I just, mm, I'm passing it along. This guy, I just finished up, I think like today or yesterday. This is an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in original. Holy grail, use it all the time. Another amazing product is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Oh my lord. Well, apparently there was a lot left in there, or I don't know, but um, water or makeup spray just spilled all over my lap, so that's wonderful. Okay, well, I still like it, but it has a really nice fine mist and it makes your makeup last. So yeah, <laughs> two of the Real Techniques complexion sponges love these love 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 this is an urban decay lipstick this was in the shade bad blood i've talked about this before because bless his heart travis death broke this one um but thank goodness gracious they still have this in their new vice collection and so he repurchased it for me i love this stuff it's a comfort matte and it's a beautiful shade of red another holy grail of mine is this guy which is the nyx butter gloss intense in the shade trace leches i always have one of these on deck so I do, and it's amazing and beautiful and you need it. A few mascaras. I have a Too Faced Better Than Sex travel size. Really love this stuff, but it dries out fairly easily and can get flaky. That I don't like, but other than that, it's great. Urban Decay Perversion. Um, this was good. It, it, I mean, it wasn't anything to like write home about, but it was good. This was like a little sample size. And then this guy was a CoverGirl waterproof super sizer. It was in the Star Wars packaging, which was really cute. It says, do or do not, there is no try. The wand is a little bit funky. I actually have another one of these. I rarely use waterproof mascara. I'm typically not about that life. So basically, unless I'm doing something sad, like literally, if I was gonna go see a sad movie or like, I don't know, go to therapy, I would wear waterproof mascara. But on a day-to-day, -day, I don't tend to gravitate towards it. Maybe if it's hot or if it's raining or if I'm gonna go in the pool or I, I don't know, I guess I wouldn't wear makeup, but I do like it and it's cheap. Uh, the packaging was so fun. This was a Revlon um, eyeliner. It's the Color Stay eyeliner in the shade Black. This one dried out, but it's really, really good for being a drugstore eyeliner. It's very black. It is kind of a dry formula, so it's not the most blendable. It does have the little spongy thingy on the end where you can like smudge it out, but it's pretty matte and like drying. So this will last, so be careful with it, but it's good. Just a couple more things, then we're done. This guy is the everything, nope, the Honest Beauty Everything face primer. It's a luminous base. This is actually not all the way gone either, but it expired, I think. And again, I don't want to risk it with primers or foundations or anything that's going directly on my finicky skin. So this guy I did quite like. It's very liquidy. It has an herbal smell to it. Honest Beauty is like a natural company. I liked it. It pairs well with the Honest Beauty foundation, which is actually what I have on right now. I don't really have much to say about it. It was a natural primer that smelled nice that was fairly hydrating and made my makeup last but it wasn't anything to write home about I, I gave it away because of that I think it was maybe starting to break me out getting old and not my favorite thing in the world therefore it's going bye-bye last thing that I have for you right now oh no two more things this guy is the uh, Maybelline right oh why do I keep dropping everything butterfingers today Maybelline color tattoo 
like cream eyeshadow in the shade Barely Branded. There's still some in here, but this got really, really dry after a while. I've had it for a while though, so it's like a great little dupe for a MAC Paint Pot. It's not quite as amazing of quality as the MAC Paint Pots, but um, I really liked it. Let me see if I can swatch this on camera at all. This one was like a really champagne, oh my gosh, it's so dry. It's like a really, I don't even know if that's showing anything. Probably not. But it's a really nice champagne color, great as an eyeshadow base. I wouldn't just use this on its own without putting some type of like a powder shimmer highlighter on top. Like this was great to pair underneath a highlighter if you were going to do highlighter as eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So easy, um, cheap. These are fun. So yeah, I've repurchased these or play around with different shades, but it was just time for it to go. The last thing that I have was something that I got from Birchbox and I don't really like it. It's the Cow Shed Lippy Cow Natural Lip Balm. I don't mean to be like anti-natural products because I definitely think there's a lot of really great beneficial things about it. Like, I, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't mean to be like like the humans in Wally who are so like wasteful and like bad to the planet. I don't or to my own body or whatever. But sometimes natural products, I don't know, sometimes they just don't do it for me for whatever reason. Like clearly I'm not that well educated on the ingredients of what's in the synthetic, more fakey stuff and what's in these natural things. Maybe that's not even why I didn't get along with this. But for whatever reason, this Cow Shed Lip Balm, it's a nice thick lip balm um, and I like to put lip balm on before I go to bed at night, but it never really sank in. It literally just like sat on top of my lips and it was kind of glossy and I just didn't care for it. It doesn't have a smell, like it was fine, but it didn't sink in, it just didn't do anything for me. So I would not repurchase it. I pretty much used it up just because, but uh, yeah, didn't get on with it very well. So, okay everyone, that was probably really long. Uh, I try to do these frequently so that they're not like so excessive, but I was just like, I opened my bag and I was like, oh shoot, I have a lot more stuff than I thought I did. Um, but thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the products down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you!